Hi, I'm Tricia, an organic gardener. I grow organically for a healthy and safe food supply, for a clean and sustainable environment, for an enjoyable and rewarding experience. Today we're going to be installing a three pound package of bees with the queen into the new hives. But first I need to make the syrup, get my smoker going, and get suited up. When you're introducing a relatively small new colony into a new hive, they'll need to put all their resources into drawing out new comb so that the queen bee can lay eggs to grow the population of worker bees. The comb is also used for storing pollen. To help the bees draw the comb as quickly as possible, you're going to need to provide them with some syrup at this critical time. Simply mix one part pure organic cane sugar with one part hot water and then shake to dissolve and let it cool before giving it to the bees. I've filled up this clean spray bottle with water. Spraying the bees will calm them down, but more importantly, weigh them down so that they're easier to install into the hives. Another way to subdue the bees and make them more docile is to give them a few puffs of cold smoke. Each time you head out to check on your hives, you'll light up a smoker, fill it full of fuel, light a match, close the lid, and use this bellow to encourage burning. Well, it's time to get suited up. I'm going to put on a full suit with a veil and gloves. The elastic and zippers make the suit both easy to get on and off as well as secure. These generally sting dark colors, so it's important to wear white as much as possible. Bees are particularly attracted to hair or anything that loosely resembles a bear, so most people wear a veil at a minimum. These gloves provide extra protection and ventilation for warm days. Always have your bee brush and your hive tool. I've already set up my hive stand, the solid bottom board, the feeder, and the first brood box. I'm just going to insert my sugar syrup now. Remove the three innermost frames to create a space to pour in the new bees. Using a clean bottle of water, mist the bees lightly to prepare them for being transferred into their hive. Generally, packaged bees will come with a can of syrup that the bees have been feeding from. Gently lift it out of the box and set it aside. Pull out your queen cage. Brush off any bees that are on the cage so that you can see the queen. Make sure that she is alive and set her aside. Now you're going to pour your bees into the hive. You may need to give the box a hearty shake to get the bees to fall into the hive. There will be some bees left in the box. Set it down on the ground facing the hive entrance. The remaining bees should find their way into the hive. After a few minutes, the bees should be on the foundation and out of the bottom of this hive. Once this is the case, gently place each frame back into the hive. We're going to remove the tack at the end of the queen cage. Slide a figure over the end and don't let the queen escape. Insert the queen candy halfway into the hole. The screen of the queen cage should face down into the hive. The bees will eat away at the sugar candy for two to three days to release the queen. Bend this piece of metal to hook it over the top of a frame. Place your inner cover on your hive and then your outer cover. You will leave the bees alone for eight days. The worst beginner mistake is opening the hive too often and too early. This can result in a slowing down the bees' progress and worse, accidentally rolling or killing your queen. On day eight, you can take the covers off the hive, gently lift the outermost frame out of the hive, and then slide the center frame towards the edge. This will allow you to lift out the center frames without crushing any bees, especially your queen. When you hold a central frame up to the sun, you should see eggs. They're little white dots, a smidge smaller than a grain of rice. When you see this, you know your queen is laying and you're off to a good start. Gently set the central frames back inside the hive, slide the frames inwards, and place the eighth empty frame back in on the edge. Once the bees have filled up most of the frames in the first brood box, add the second one. After both brood chambers are nearly full of comb, You'll be ready for your queen excluder and honey supers, one by one. Now you're a honey beekeeper. Grow organic for life.